When you live in New York City, because oftentimes you don't have a car, the surrounding areas are an extension of where you live. Your apartment is probably on the smaller side, so you want to be able to go out and about, walk your neighborhood, have that coffee shop, have all of your things. <laughs> feet away That's it. and it just felt like home. Chicken salad, Caesar wrap, I mean, chips, good to go. Nine dollars. But when our parents visit, they're like, we're proud of you. <laughs> That's all we're hoping That's for. all. That's all. <laughs> the iPhone and the smart HDR when it's really sunny out is just so interesting. Watch this. My face looks so different, right? A little darker. I feel like I don't look like either of them. We moved. That's what this video is about today. So usually I do apartment tours and things towards the end of our lease. A lot of people are like, hey, didn't you just move to Brooklyn? Well, we did the video when we had already lived there for quite a bit. So our 14 month lease was up. And you know, New York is unique. When you, unique New York, unique New York. When I was in theater class in middle school, that was our tongue twister. Yes, for a short amount of time, I was a theater kid. So even though our building was amazing, we were kind of just craving that energy again of Manhattan. We love Manhattan. So we moved back. We'll talk a little bit more about that throughout the video. Also, if you've ever thought of wanting to move to New York City, I'm going to talk about why right now might be the time. I know a lot of crazy stuff is happening. Um, and then all of the smooth footage in this video is brought to you by today's sponsor, the Zhuin Smooth X Gimbal. It's a $59 phone gimbal to axis stabilization. Did you, did you see that magic? It just fold down into this and wait for it. A selfie stick is built in. Ooh, I'm excited. And of course, you know, this is a phone gimbal. I've been using just my iPhone the past couple days because a lot of my camera gear is packed or at my office. I haven't seen my office in almost a week. Life has been hectic. <laughs> Let's get into it, guys. So I'm unboxing my final boxes, trying to get clothes off the floor and all the things. And then in this video, I'll do a mini empty apartment tour, messy apartment tour. And then I think John is gonna have like the final apartment tour. But the reason why I say, hey, if you've had the dream to live in New York City, why it actually might be interesting right now. While people's everyday life has changed quite a bit, there's, you know, no gathering in inside places. New York is actually doing really well right now. When you go outside, when you go grocery shopping, everyone is in a mask. It feels like we're kind of all in this together and something unique has happened. The city kind of checked all of the marks that they needed in order to open up restaurants again, but they said, eh, okay, indoor things are still kind of sketchy. So what if we actually took the parking lots outside and made them into outdoor dining areas? So it's actually really lovely out and about. There's less car traffic and now just more people outside. I'm hoping restaurants can survive with a combination of outdoor dining and delivery as the city continues to get better. So that's a little bit of an update in New York, but like, why, why are you moving, Sarah? Well, because of everything that has happened, there are a lot of incentives with rent. Rent has gotten a little cheaper. I mean, it's still New York City though, right? Uh, we ended up getting a free month's rent and the space that we're in is just really lovely. We got some actual proper upgrades from the Brooklyn apartment. We have a full oven, not a dinky microwave oven, like a full refrigerator. We have cabinets. We have like a legit kitchen now. We have a bigger living area. We have two bathrooms. So one can say we are uh, now living the life and the rent doesn't hurt as much as it would if it was kind of just like normal New York City. So of course the city is adjusting with things and so are we, you know, we're kind of taking advantage of everyone leaving the city. Hopefully rent prices will still reflect the reality over the next year. So that's why I say, hey, maybe if you have dreams of living in the city, people are still here. The energy is still here. Uh, being around these buildings is inspiring as ever. And yes, 
Okay, now it's time for me to, to get clean and get some unboxing so we can do somewhat of a tour for you guys. Also, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that my happiness kind of peaked when I was able to afford a green overpriced salad every single day for lunch. In the Brooklyn apartment, sweet green didn't deliver and I had no locations close. So the fact that I can get my favorite sweet green salad delivered to me in 20 minutes where I am now, I can, wow. check out this Juin Smooth X. Uh, the link will be in the description. So it has its own dedicated app, which is really handy and actually allows you to edit videos together and all of those things. It has gesture controls. All you have to do to start recording is raise your hand and then it also tracks your face. So it will automatically move wherever you go. What are you doing? <laughs> it, it's doing face object tracking. See, it's following me. And it's also compatible with their more advanced app that you've actually already seen in this video, the moving time lapses, where it'll move the phone on the gimbal as it does a time lapse is super handy for those cool B-roll shots. It's really easy to get creative with this only $59 device for your phone. Okay, and it's perfect for a little, a little mini tour because hey, all the big real estate YouTubers like the friend Eric Conover always has the smooth gimbal shots. So we're gonna do a phone version of that today. Okay. Okay, so a little disclaimer, it's not gonna be perfect. We literally just moved in and John has been doing most of the work. Um, thank you, John. one hand okay so we have real blinds <laughs> so this is the bedroom it is so much bigger than our old bedroom which is just very exciting and I don't know if you can tell it's probably blown out but when I lay down asleep all I see is the Empire State Building and that's my favorite building ever so that's that's just really special lots of storage which is good so closet one closet two you guys have seen the past apartments you guys you guys know this is a bit of a bit of a glow up. Here's my closet. Still have a few boxes to hang, you know. Wow, this selfie stick is really handy. John, do you want to hop in here? For what? Since you did all the cleaning, you're all seeing right. the you're seeing the entire apartment right now. Okay, John's gonna try to compensate for my energy level because I'm just like. I'm tired. What do you want? I can put on a show for you. I can do whatever. Well, look let's at, just go in the kitchen. Have you seen that yet? Well, let's start with, look at John's little space. Not little space. I mean, we each have like dedicated sections now. Look at this. I actually love having a little corner and this is where now I can do more art projects. But yeah. in our last apartment, we didn't have we didn't this have, much room. We didn't have any room that wasn't taken up by furniture. So this is something special. Like space to do one push up was difficult in our last apartment. Yeah. Because that's New York City. So now you can work out all the time. I'm so buff. I do this thing where I like to cook my own food once in a while, aka heat it up in a microwave. <laughs> No, you actually do. No, I do, I do, but for lunch sometimes I do that. Anyways. So this is the first time that we actually have like a physical kitchen. Check this out, guys. And a real fridge. In the last apartment, we had baby appliances. We had appliances for ants. Uh, but it's extremely rare to have an actual space for a kitchen in anywhere in Manhattan in Brooklyn. So it's crazy that you can walk into a place and that the floor changes. Yeah. That's so realistic. You know what's so funny? Everyone in like normal America is going to be like, we have all of this. What's what's the deal? And I guess it's with the fact that just New York City apartments are just so small. You don't get a lot for, for you know, you don't get a lot of bang for your buck. So this is new for us. So forgive our excitement, um, you know, with the big old fridge. We have an ice maker now. We have a full oven now you don't know how crazy it is to have a full oven yeah we had a little dinky microwave oven it's just a full dishwasher most ovens are the size of this microwave yeah. right here so you can't cook a pizza yeah oh and the best part show them that thing what best part we, oh we we and we I, have, I, like almost a full size washer dryer. It's bigger than our last one. It dries much quicker. If you've watched the video about New York apartments, everyone will talk about a washer and dryer. Yeah. In one way or another, they'll be like, oh, we don't have one or we have one and it's yeah. life changing. Man, 
But the best part you haven't even seen. What? The this view. Oh, the view. They saw it a little bit earlier. Can you see it at all? Can you see it in the kitchen though? Like while cooking? Like just imagine yeah. me putting my pastrami together, vegan style. <laughs> and just looking out into the ocean. Been, it's been fun being able to just ride our bikes around Central Park. Um, we really, really enjoy this location. I am so excited to have a bodega to just go get some of that sweet, sweet iced coffee whenever I want it, um, among many other things. But thanks for hanging out. This is more of just a little update video talking to you guys. How are you? I know these times are so weird and anxious and honestly the last month for me was a nightmare so i would like to publicly say if i know you or i'm acquaintances with you and you're expecting an email a text message a follow-up of any kind i am so sorry last month i really just pushed everything aside not just with the move but personal things too, like uh, for the first time in my adult life. See, it's hard for me to even say it, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but I had someone really close to me pass away. And that's just been really hard. <laughs> when, thing, when things like that happen, um, you kind of go into the mode like, why does any of this matter? Why, why does making this video matter? Why does anything matter? <laughs> Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail because uh, whenever I watch YouTube videos where people are crying, it just makes me feel uncomfortable, so I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'm just going to try to keep a smile on my face, but yeah, it's, it's weird times. And with everything happening, that also affects other things of like making, I don't know, like funerals aren't a thing. So I feel like people can't be like properly mourned right now, just um, among with so many other things. Um, so yeah, it, it's weird to have a job where <laughs> there's a camera involved and a face and I have to be, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. So I, I do have a few videos coming up that I'm really excited about. Um, the one I recently released um, about the really cool laptop, I was, I was stoked on that, but if, things in the past month and then the next month are just a little bit slower than normal you kind of have some insight from me now sometimes there's a lot of external forces happening sometimes you just feel like a blob and you know at the end of the day i'm i'm grateful to have a job that hopefully i put smiles on your face on thousands of people's faces i hope i help you with your creative endeavors in your life. And that at the end of the day gets me really stoked because um, it attaches some meaning to, to these things that I make often. And whenever I'm feeling super lousy, like in the past month, making videos, getting back into a somewhat normal swing of things has been a, a silver lining. It's been, it's been harder, but I'm grateful. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm turning 26 soon. My birthday's August 11th. I don't know when this is gonna come out, but that's soon, that's weird. I feel like turning 25 was weird because it, it was a quarter of a century. So 26 doesn't feel that weird, but there is a sense of, wow, I've been, I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while, wow. I've been editing videos for over 10 years now. Wow, I'm a little, I don't wanna say tired, but I'm just, I'm excited for what's next. You know, I, I don't quite know what that is, but I'm working on things and I'm glad I have the Peachy fam to hang out with as I do those things. So stick around. I hope you smiled at least once in this video. So let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. Um, oh, and yes, I'm using it right now. If you wanna check out the Smooth X gimbal, 
it was actually a lot of fun to use and it was really really easy so check out my link in the description below for that and i guess all there is to say is uh stay peachy okay bye